Viewers and subscribers, please subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share. Police have launched a high level probe following an incident in Westmoreland in which a group of officers and residents were involved in a standoff. A video of the incident has been making the run on the internet, which shows members of a police team on Sunday going into the Niggles section of the parish to turn off the music at an entertainment event. Police said, while at the location, a heated argument started and one male resident who was a part of a large group was accused of hitting a female officer in the face. The police say they apprehended one man and that was when they came under further attack. Reports from the police on the ground are that they were physically abused as they placed the handcuff on a man who they apprehended. He managed to escape. Police said at least one other person from the community was taken into custody. Police say they are searching for other persons who were part of the group that attacked the police officers. Residents in the area, however, told a different story and accused the police of trying to use unnecessary force on citizens in the area. In one instance, the resident accused the police of kicking and stamping down on a man who was on the ground. Detectives assigned to the Westmoreland Police Division are probing shooting death of two men who were killed 15 minutes apart. In their Grange Hill community on Saturday, the deceased has been identified as 49 years old carpenter Anthony Simit and 37 years old by taxi operator Ricardo Green, both of Geneva District, Grange Hill, Westmoreland address. Reports from the Sutherland Mar Police are that about 8 p.m., Green was driving his Suzuki Assess motorcycle along the road when several explosions were heard. Green subsequently lost control of the vehicle and crashed. The police were alerted and upon their arrival, Green was seen lying on his back with multiple gunshot wounds to his upper body. He was transported to hospital where he was pronounced dead. The Constable Cooperative Communication Unit CCU also reported that about 8.15 p.m. Simit was sitting on his Cobra motorcycle in front of a shop on Rory Street in Grange Hill. When explosion were heard, the police were alerted. And on their arrival, Simit was seen lying beside his motorcycle with multiple gunshot wounds to his head and upper body. He was transported to, to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Laman are appealing to residents with information that can assist them with investigation to contact the Southern Lamar Police at 876 955 2758. Crime stop at 311 Police 119 Emergency Number or the nearest police station. A Westmoreland security guard has been charged with storeroom breaking and five count of larceny after item went missing from the business place at which he was working. The incident happening at a business establishment at Simit Field Main Road, Savalama on February 4. Charge is 20 years old. Shafan Sabaran, otherwise called Sean of Mongo Hill District, Little London in the parish. Reports from the Savalama police are that about 11.37 p.m. Sabaran was working at the establishment when he gained access to the storeroom and allegedly stole a quantity of alcohol beverage. The complainer recognized some of her goods were missing and checked her computer, her camera footage, which reported the show Sabaran as a suspect. A month later, on March 5, Sabaran was arrested. He was taken to his home where the goods were reportedly discovered. He is now awaiting a court date. A day after alleged breaking into a man's house, a Portland electrician reportedly told his victim that he had stolen some items and, and surrendered to the police. The police have identified the accused as Kemar Award, 32 years old, of Windsor, Royal Grande. He has been arrested and charged with housebreaking in and larceny following the incident at his home on International Women's Day, March 8. Reports from the Portland police are that about 6 p.m., Howard reportedly break into the complainant house and stole one component set, one music box, one black point television, and $254,000. He then reportedly contacted the complainant and informed him that he had stole the item. Howard turned himself in to the police on March 9 and was charged. He is to be appear before the Portland Parish Court on April 9. 19 years old, Moses James of Orchard Housing Scheme. Opel in Anova has been arrested and charged with wounding with intent following an incident at his home on Thursday, March 7. 
Reports from the Lucy police are that at about 9.50 a.m., James and a man had an argument, which developed into a fight. James then used a ratchet knife to stab the man in his upper body. The police were summoned and the injured man was assisted to the hospital where he was admitted in stable but serious condition. James was arrested and later charged. On Saturday, March 9, his court date has been finalized.